Um, yeah, this is a really exciting opportunity for Scottish Rugby. We've um, we've decided to invest um, significant amounts into a new state school strategy, which is which is going to provide state school rugby officers um, to each of our regions and help to help really drive and deliver the game in schools. Um, we know that the school landscape's changed considerably and that uh, we can help support schools better in terms of getting the rugby product out there and, and to help support both attainment um, in schools as well as, uh, as well as a great physical activity and sport um, for people to play. Yeah, we, we piloted a project in Dundee over the last three years, which has been really successful in terms of um, our, our ability to link our current development officer network and, and therefore clubs with schools in local areas and, and through a person, through a school rugby officer, um, to be able to help us deliver activities like this that are happening. They can be on Wednesdays, it doesn't have to be a Saturday, it doesn't have to start with 15 aside, full contact rugby, it can be touch. It can be cross-field touch, um, sevens and mixed. Um, so it's a great way to get into the sport and it's a, it's a great way for us to help support schools um, get in touch with local clubs as well. And for local clubs to integrate with schools, we've got a club development officer here who can uh, show his face and then get kids along to activities on Saturdays and Sundays as well. So year one, when I first arrived here, um, there was no rugby programme. So I started off fairly small teaching kids just in after school clubs. Um, this year I've now migrated into doing all the S1, S2 curriculum rugby um, with the staff here. I provide after school clubs four days a week for training. Um, we're moving forward with a strength and conditioning programme for our S34 uh, youth this year. Uh, we had no girls rugby here last year. I've now got about a dozen girls who are trying to play some school uh, rugby as well. Um, and then hopefully migrating all of them along to Hillfoot Rugby Club to play there as well. I've got quite a good number from last year have done that. So going forward, I hope that we can keep building the numbers playing the game. Um, quite a number of the boys that are playing this afternoon are kids that have just had curriculum rugby and nothing else. And you can see how much they're enjoying getting out here on the, on the paddock and, and having a good run around with a rugby ball today. So hopefully we can keep building that, have more teams available, and in particular girls rugby. I think it can only do like, the player pathway Good, like as much boys and girls as we can get playing rugby at school. That's only got to help the game, the game grow in Scotland. Whether that be at Stirling County or Hillfoots or at Allah Rugby Club, getting more young boys, young girls playing rugby from schools, just going to help that grow and help the pathway further up the tree as well. The the partnership engagement with both Scottish Rugby Union and the Hillfoots Rugby is essential to this being a success. The local coaches that we have engaged with, Murray, who works with us here at Alva Academy, he's infectious, his enthusiasm for the game of rugby uh, and his unflinching determination that this is going to work is something to be admired. But with that, when you have the full backing of the Scottish Rugby Union behind that, when you see the interest, when you see the drive to sustain this, it gives you a feeling of something special is going to happen here. This doesn't feel like a short-term fix or something that's just going to be, you know, is it one year, two years, this feels like something that's going to sustain rugby along the Hillfoots for the years to come. Lots of schools in Scotland will talk about living and breathing their school values. Um, for me, rugby encapsulates an awful lot of what we do here. So our core values of creativity, of focus, of determination, that's all encapsulated in the game of rugby. So our young people, you can actually say to them, you're living and breathing our school values by participating in the teamwork, training hard, you know, getting focused for a game or getting focused for a training session. They can see it, they can live and breathe it and you know, just being able to do that, it really gives them an ownership of not only our school values, but it can give us a bit of a context as to, to why they're doing certain things. Um, we've also committed, yes of course due to Covid, but uh, for a number of other reasons, we want to create memories for young people that in 10, 20, 30 years time they will look back on and bump into each other in the street and say, do you remember that time we played? Do you remember that time we travelled to? And this is what this is all about. It's about creating memories that our young people will thoroughly enjoy and will never forget.